Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Burton Borders and in today's video I'm going to be touching on the Tammy Abraham story which is making all the news today. So before I get into that guys, please smash that like button, please subscribe to the channel, please turn on all notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a video, please share this content, please get in touch with YouTube and tell them to sort out their algorithms and let everyone know that Burton Borders is about. Welcome to the Burton Borders. Ain't got no time for no stories. Yeah. We are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. So guys, Tammy Abraham, we've got a lot of news going on about Tammy Abraham um, and their story's going on. Why isn't he playing? Where's Tammy? Where is Tammy? What has Tukel done with Tammy? Has he kidnapped him? Is he in his car boot somewhere? I don't know, but Tammy seems to be missing. He's around because we see him on the training ground. Then we get told that he's injured, but then he's training, okay? So a lot of confusion around the Tammy Abraham situation. And it's even more baffling because the team haven't been scoring goals. So let's go to, let's, let's concentrate on the league at the moment. We've played 11 league games under Tuchel and we've only scored 13 goals. We've never scored more than two goals in a match since Tuchel's been here. And top, if you look at the breakdown of the goals that we've scored under Tuchel, four of them have been penalties by Jorginho, three have been scored by Mason Mount. And then we have um, one by Christian Pulisic. Um, Asper Lequeta has got one. We've got one from Alonso. And only out of the strikers, Timo Werner, one in 11. And he's played most of the minutes in those games. And then if you look at Giroud, who hasn't played as much, but he's, only, he's, he's got one as well. And then, we've got an own goal by Godfrey. So that's the breakdown of, of, of the goals that we, we scored. And um, so we're crying out for some goal scoring. And um, so it's baffling, even more baffling why Tammy, who is actually, although he hasn't played a lot since um, Tuchel's taken over, startling fact actually, when I was doing a phone in, Eric mentioned that um, Emerson has got has more minutes um, under his belt since Tuchel's been here than Tammy Abraham, which is really, really baffling, I think. Um, and um, Tammy, I think he's scored six goals already, um, six league goals, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure of all league goals, but he's, he's, he's actually um, joint top goal scorer alongside Mason Mount and Jorginho, although he hasn't played in as, in as, as many games as those two. Um, and so I think there's more to it because it's, it's, it seems strange. This has got the, for me, this has got the feeling of, of, of this Tamoria one when he was frozen out by um, Frank Lampard. You know, he kept saying that he was injured or he, don't worry, he'll be, he'll be in the squad soon. He never did. I think he appeared in one cup game and he was gone. And now we're hearing the manager saying good things and positive things about Tammy, but actions speak louder than words. Um, Tammy, he's a guy who kind of divides our fan base. There are some who think that um, he's not getting the opportunities and if we persevere with him, give him that patience that he needs, then he's going to come good. There's others who just think that he's not up to it and he's just on the level with, I don't know, um, Ashley, um, Ashley Barnes or, you know, Chris Wood, that sort of level. Um, but for, for me, um, here's, here's my take on the lad. I've, I've, I did a video years ago, when, when after he missed that penalty against Liverpool in the, in the Super Cup and everyone was getting on his back and he was getting racist abuse and all sorts, I, did a, I said, look, stick with this kid. You can't judge a boy after three games. And that's what people were doing. They're judging him after three games. 
he came good. He was our top goal scorer last season. I think 18 goals in all competitions. So as a, a sort of debut season at Chelsea, you know, a, I know he's been at Chelsea, but he's out on loan. So this was his first full season at Chelsea. And that was a good, for a, for a guy of his age, that was a good return. So this season now is coming. And as I said, he's, he's still got a decent record, you know. Um, six goals in the amount of games he's played is, 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 is good, it's decent. Um, and I think he's a okay striker. For me, um, I don't think that he's good enough to lead us to the major trophies. I'm not saying he's not a bad, bad, good striker, because he's a good striker, but if we want to be challenging for the Champions League and the Premier League, then we need top draw, you know, and he's not in that top draw category. Let's be honest, he's not top draw. Top draw, when you're thinking of top draw, you're thinking of the likes of your um, Mbappes, your Haaland's, your Lewandowski's, um, your Harry Kane's, um, even your Aguero's, that's what you call top draw and those are the ones you can lead you to major honours. Is Has Tammy got that yet? No. Can he potentially do that in the future? Possibly. Only time will tell. Like, for instance, the guy that we're, we're linked with, Lukaku. Lukaku, um, he, you know, he, 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 when we, was, we loaned him out to West Brom, Everton, he was scoring goals for them, similar to Tammy, but there were bits in his game that needed fine tuning, like his first touch and the movement, etc. Now he's, he's, you're seeing the best of him in Inter Milan. So he's now, you put him in the top eight or nine strikers in world football at the moment. So that's possibly, you know, given time, you know, because one thing you say about Tammy, he's willing to learn. He's, 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 he's not one of these strikers who he hasn't got that character because, you know, he's always got that character and you can see that he's got that fight in him as well. What he lacks, and I've said it before, he just needs to improve on his movement. His movement, especially in and around the box when crosses are coming in, his movement needs to be better. This we've seen a lot of times with this season and last, where crosses have been fizzing into the box. He's not in the right place at the right time to, to capitalise on, on those things. So um, that can be worked on though. Those things like that can definitely be worked on. And so if he can get that part of his game on, on point, then yeah, there's a decent striker in there. Um, Cause I think his older play is pretty decent and he brings others into the play. I liked his telepathy at the beginning of the season with, if you look at a game against Barnsley, him and Havertz had a little good, good link up going on there. So, you know, there's there's some raw materials that you can work on in, 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 his, in his game. Um, for me, at the moment, as I said, Bring in a top-notch striker. I'll try. I want to keep him in and about as 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 a backup because I think over time, you know, you, you'll get there. What do you guys think about him? What do you think? Do you think his ship sailed, or do you think? Do you think first of all, do you think he's he's good enough to lead our line? That's the first question. Secondly, um, do you think that given improvements that he can get up to that top bracket? Or do you just think that he's just going to be a an average or above average striker throughout the throughout his career? Love to know your own opinions. So stick them in the comments box down below. So guys, there you have it. I'm going to do a video later on and uh, reviewing our um, upcoming quarter final against Porto. So stay tuned for that video as well. So until then, guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.